Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on, you beautiful people? 2.58 a.m. I am on my way to the gym right now. Uh, this morning, I, most mornings, a lot of times, I will, uh, I'll sit down and I'll write a note. Just, just a little something, whatever's on my mind. I'll write it and I'll leave it on the countertop in the kitchen for everybody to see. Whatever I feel may encourage them, may inspire, you know, my kids, my wife, whatever may, you know, whatever's on my heart, I feel like will, will benefit them greatly, even if they don't read it, but a week later and it's still sitting there, it's there. And what was put on my heart this morning, because I knew I wanted to write something. I wasn't sure what I wanted to write. So I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to wait for something to be put on my heart. And the thing that was put on my heart simply stated, simply stated that when you have faith, that means that you make your you make your problems or you make your wants, you make them known to God. And then you you be still from worry. You be still from worry. I think I think you're going to hear me talk a lot more about God because of the 600 plus videos that I've done for the past couple of years and let me tell you something short of miraculous that is that is amazing to be that consistent it is i take no credit i take no credit but of all the videos i've done it's only led me to this point of all the motivational speakers i've listened to i've went and seen of all the books i've read it comes back down to the, the, the basic general premises of God. The biggest spiritual force in existence. And that's an understatement. So you make your, you make your request, you make your fears known to God. And then you rest. You stand still. From worry. And you have no idea how good that feels. It doesn't mean that things aren't going to come up. Let, let, let's be very clear. <laughs> let's be very clear. It doesn't mean things are not going to come up. What it means is you've equipped yourself with enough faith that whatever whatever would have attacked the old you may have existed for days or weeks. But whatever attacks the new you, it's lucky if it could get five minutes of, of head time. You see, Faith is a lot like, and trusting in God is a lot like, what can I compare it to that, that, that would even make sense? It's a lot like a child trying to ride a bicycle for the first time. Most children don't just get up and go, go, go when they're learning how to ride. Some children, they'll fall. And depending on the magnitude of the fall, some children will refuse to get back on that bike. Sa same thing with like swimming. You know, these are all unknown factors that have a, a certain level of pain and fear. And when you put pain and fear together, um, that, that, that'll make you not want to repeat that cycle again. So you have this child who has fallen off their bike and they managed to scrape their arm, their leg, you know, they see a little blood. They won't get back on. And that's how a lot of people are with faith. 
They say, oh, no, no, no. This must be done by me. I must fix this. I'll leave, I'll save the next one for God. But I have to fix this one. And then that problem somehow, some way resolves itself in their mind. The next problem comes up. Oh, no. I can't leave this to God. See, they associate some type of pain or fear with letting the problem outside of their hands go into this invisible source and pray and hope that it's taken care of and resolved. That doesn't mean you can sit back if you have a bill that needs to be paid. Yeah, you pray to God, ask for that money. But you need to get up and go do something. Because he ain't going to just stand there and say, hey, okay, well, you want me to give you what's in my hand, but you don't want to do nothing. You still got to put in work. But just imagine. Something huge comes up, right? And I've been faced with so many challenges. I would say just in the last year. So many huge things come up. That causes you to go into a fight, a fight or flight mindset. So many. That it's hard to say, you know what? I'm just going to give it to this invisible source. Because that's what faith requires you to do. Now I don't I don't recall exactly where I got faith. Even when I pray, I, I thank God for my grandmother, because my grandmother was a praying woman. And since I know the power of prayer, there's been some very dark roads that I was on. So since I know my God my, my, my grandmother had a direct connect with God, and I know that my grandmother was tied into prayer. Uh, or into God through prayer, she understood the power of that. So I know that she prayed over me when I was, it's 307 right now. There'd be sometimes I'd be still out roaming, running the streets at 307 AM. So I don't know exactly where my faith came in, but I'm going to assume it's the people who came before me that prayed for me. The same way I pray for the generations to come after me. My kids, kids, kids. Because the generational prayers work too. But somewhere along the line, I started paying attention. I started reflecting. I started seeing things happen. Things that no way I could have done. No way, not at all. Could you imagine? you imagine, let me paint a picture for you, living a life where you have no fear, but you still have the same problems like everybody else. The difference is, here's the difference, you have no fear or no worry because you know it will work out. Good, bad, right, or wrong, it will work out and you will be fine. And if you start asking, you'll start receiving. And then I started thinking about, I was like, man, God's got to be pretty busy. He's got to be pretty, pretty busy. He's just, just, CFO, CEO, CCOO, 
C-C-O-O-E-X-O, if that means something. I said, you know, he probably, I probably won't bother him with the things that I can do. No, the things I can take care of. I I can take care of this. I said, I'm only going to go to God. And this is everybody's own preference. I'm going to go to God for the big things. Why not? I like it when people come to me for the big things because it's the little things I like. And I'm not saying our God works like this because I'm pretty sure he wants you to come to him anytime you feel like you, you, you can't, you ain't got the answer. But I like when people figure out the simple things like, hey, are you figuring that out? And then come to me with something where I'm like, hey, this got a little meat on it. Let's think about this. Let's yeah, let's let's put this one together. Right? Faith is giving it up to the ultimate spiritual force, the ruler, the creator of everything, and then stepping back, going about your life, and having a knowing. That it is already done. Whatever you ask for, it's already done. Could you imagine the kind of life you'd live? Could you imagine how satisfied you would feel? I'd have to say that the reason why most people don't have that kind of faith is because they've never really thought about the situations that they've managed to get out of. They only ponder on the situation that they're in. And like the good book says, and this too shall pass. Nothing lasts forever. It's just in here in your mind that you can't let go.